hello all of my beautiful people. Um, so, whatever. Uh, I feel like having a crazy, crazy rant. Um, just because. Because I can. And that's because I can. I'm going to do it purely based on that. Um, and because of ideas that I have been going through my head this morning. Just philosophy and whatever the hell. I'm just going to talk. And maybe everything I say is not going to be, like, good. And maybe it's just my brain experiencing and trying to figure out these ideas. I don't... I don't agree with anything I say in this video, just in case it's bad, okay? There we go. That, that'll save me. So, um, I, I don't agree with any of it. So... Utopian philosophy. You know, everyone getting together, everything being in perfect harmony. It would be absolutely fantastic, you know? And how do, how do we get there, you know? How do we get to this perfect world where everyone's in harmony, working together on projects, like building, like, giant cityscapes that are eco-friendly with nuclear power, you know? Like, powered by these insanely efficient and produce, like, production, energy production facilities, you know? Hydrogen-powered cars. How do we get there, you know? Stuff like that. So, the idea, I'm pretty sure, I don't know exactly what I'm talking about here, but I'm pretty sure the idea of right and left philosophies come from some old guy in France, you know? Like, the left is more progressive and more freedom-oriented, and the right is more traditional and whatever. And they're both absolutes, you know? And you can, there's a spectrum, you can go up and down, left and right, based on how much government control or economic system you want. It's all, it's all a mishmash of everything because it's ideas, and ideas are constantly at odds with each other and moving around and shit. So, conservatives, let's just say, I'm going to say right. I'm not going to say conservative or liberal because those are terms, you know, bad terms. Like, Republican and Democrat is much worse, but regardless, um, right politics and left politics need to need each other. It's like the yin, the yin and the yang. You know, it's constantly spinning around trying to figure out what the hell's going on. That's what I. That's how I see this. And essentially, um, I see the left as the left is the is the group of people people that consistently push forward and try to find new ideas to express themselves and make the world a better place. Constantly. Constantly. Like, that is their goal. That is the left goal. And again, this is not saying, like, any singular person. This is very general statements, not even about people, but about ideas. The left is about progress and moving forward and coming up with new ideas, whether it be crazy and, like, whack, but, like, reasonable, you know, stuff like, like, like that. The left is all about coming up with those ideas. And the right, the right, the people on the right, the group of right-leaning people, they are there to, as the left moves very fast, like, they're like, okay, like, the left is coming up with all these crazy, crazy ideas. The right is there as, like, the catalyst to be like, is this a good idea long term, you know, the left is moving all crazy, and the right is like a brick wall, like, if it doesn't go through, it just keeps getting pushed, you know, and it's, it's like a, they work in harmony, you know, all these ideas, all these crazy ideas, you know, whether we should, like, abolish slavery, you know, that was a very liberal idea back in the 1800s, you know, everything coming together 
Like, that just that doesn't make sense. Everyone coming together and saying, this is bad, you know, slavery bad. That was a very progressive idea. And now it's like, nowadays is like, that's just normal. That's normal. Everyone agrees with that. But back in the day, that was a very big change because of the culture at the time. So the left is like, hey, this is insane. This is crazy. Um, black people have rights, you know. These, sla these people you were held holding as slaves based on the color of their skin, they have human rights because they are people and can think the same that we do with the same education and stuff like that. And the, the right is like, okay, I'm moving forward. And I'm seeing, oh, I'm seeing your logic here. It makes a lot of sense. Okay, we'll let that through. And that is enshrined in the Constitution. Slavery abolished. Because that makes sense, you know? Like, because... A lot of people were saying it, like, even before, like, founding, a bunch of the founding fathers were like, okay, slavery is bad, but the people don't want that right now. Eventually, you know, it could, there could be a time when we abolish that, but I, I don't think it's right, but it's up to the people to decide, and eventually, the people decided with, you know, even though Abe Lincoln, kind of definitional dictator, kind of needed, but you can't, you can't avoid that he just, like, was like, okay, you, you have to abide by my rule, you know, it was, it's, it's a little, little iffy, but, you know, I, I think it was morally right, obviously, um, long term, but, uh, like, uh, the, the right is the catalyst that decided, hey, slavery is very bad, very bad, um, so we should enshrine that in the law of the land, that slavery is not good, you know, as a general thing. And, well, it happened, obviously, because it's in the Constitution. I forget what amendment. It's one of the teen ones. Whatever. I'm not... I, sh I, need, I should know this. Regardless, the right and the left come, came together... The left came up with this idea, and the right was like, okay, that makes sense, enshrined in law. Now, we push that to, like, the civil rights movement, we push that to, um, war, like, with Vietnam, you know, stuff like that, I guess, like, understanding, and I'm not talking about, like, neo, like, the neocons, whatever, but, like, general people and general ideas, I'm not talking about politicians, general ideas was like, okay, the left is coming out here, they're putting flowers in the, in the guns, you know, they're like, peace, peace, whatever, and then eventually the right comes along and is like, okay, war is probably bad, you know, and everyone agrees that war is bad when unnecessary, you know, and maybe I'm, maybe that's a really stupid statement, this is just my mind going crazy. Um, whatever. And what I see nowadays, compared to what, what, and nothing's perfect, nothing's perfect, but what I see nowadays is essentially the left is moving too fast for the right to react. And we if we're going off of what I said earlier and the established like if this if if what I'm saying is true if what I'm saying about the right needing the left and the left needing the right is true then the left is moving too fast because the right needs to come along and be like okay yeah that's 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 good and not to say that the right is the moral arbiter and not to say that anyone on the right today is the moral arbiter I'm saying the idea of the right is the moral arbiter. The idea is to come along and say, is it worth sacrificing this tradition to essentially say, okay, it, it's, it's, it, it's been enshrined in the history for the past 50, 100 years. Slavery is, is, it's just been a thing in this country. Is it worth sacrificing that tradition to say that these people have human rights? Yes. 
thinking, you know? And not to say that there's no good thinkers. This is, this is all, because the left needs to think too. The left needs to think about what needs to be done, you know? And, and what I see nowadays is there's so much a divide, of a divide. And not to say that this is anyone's fault. This is just, this might be just the natural order of things and how humans interact. Who, who knows? Who knows? But what I see nowadays is the left is stretching so far as the right is just slowly moving along. The left is all the way over here. And the right is still here trying to figure out what the hell is happening, you know? Everyone's moving too fast, and we can't come together. We can't, like, keep the distance, you know? If the left moved the same speed as the right, we would be so much, like, closer to each other and understanding each other. But what I fear would be the fault of this country is the farther apart we get, because left is constantly moving, the right can't figure it out. The right can't understand what they're doing because they're so far away, you know? I think we just need to slow down, like, as a society. We need to... Because we can, we, can we can make sure that, like, human, human rights, you know, whatever you deem as human rights, you know, we can, we can strive for that and advocate for that. And, but if you, if you think about it, it's, it's like in the long, long spans of human existence. If, if we, if we want to live hundreds of thousands of years from now, you know, I'm thinking cra like a crazy amount of time, you know, like, wow, like that's, that'd be so cool, you know? living that far, seeing where humanity goes thousands of years from, hundreds of thousands of years from now. But in order to get there, we need to understand each other. We need to go at the same rate. We need to, we need to stay together, you know? We can't separate from each other. And maybe that's what the divide is. The divide is so big. The, div the stretching is so far. That, that makes the divide so big. And that's what leaves centrists, like, stuck in the middle, like, wondering what the hell is going on as well. I don't know. This is the crazy ramblings of a 19-year-old going off to his factory job currently. Um... I don't have much else to say, honestly. Bro. <laughs> and, and the problem I find is that if I post this anywhere, like, publicly, to, for everyone to see, like, who knows who could take this out of context when I mean no harm, you know? Maybe, maybe I'll, let's get into that. Like... Like, even if I'm trolling, you know, and I'm, I'm being very rude, it's not like I'm meaning harm, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know. That, that's, a, that's a discussion for another time. I feel kind of out. I feel kind of out of it, you know? I feel like I've put my mind... And it's not... This is not... Um, constructed in any way that is supposed to be understandable. This is just my ramblings. So, uh, take me out of context if you want, but know that you will be wrong if you do so. It is, it is yes, you will. You are wrong if you do so. Um, Okay, I think I'm done. I don't, I don't have I don't have much else to say. My mind is my mind is like closed up, but it's been it was active. It was really active. I'm like, oh, I should I should 
messaged people about that. Oh, like, what's your opinion on this? What's your, what is your thought on this idea? But it's like, no, I should, I should record it. And maybe I'll, I'm gonna upload this on YouTube. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll up, upload my crazy ramblings onto YouTube. Maybe that's a, maybe that's a bad idea. It's probably a bad idea because I'm not self-employed. Um, damn, wouldn't that be so cool, though, if I could, you know? If I could just spout my ideas on something and I didn't have to fear, like, getting fired. Like, that'd be pretty cool, you know? I, I wouldn't have to fear of... I wouldn't have to fear, like, not getting hired somewhere, you know? That, too. One of the coolest dudes ever, Ian Crossland, said that what he did was he thinker does a lot of drugs, whatever. He's cool. He's a cool dude. He said that he he recorded this and uploaded it to I think it was Minds.com, which was a, a video website he ran, um, or he's like an admin or owner of. And he said like. Essentially, essentially, um, like, it was very freeing for him to record himself and upload it. Record just his thoughts, his pure thoughts, and just upload it. Because that, that, you know, that'd be cool. And it, it, he said it was freeing, he said it was freeing. Um, so I don't know. I might find something. I might I'm Bro. Like I want to I'm going to I'm going to HVAC school. I got to go to HVAC school. You know, I'm going and I got to go, you know. Regardless of what my brain feels, I got to go to this HVAC school because that's the place for me and regardless of what I think, what I'm thinking because I have a fear of commitment. It is the it is it is the destined path for me to go on. Um, through the past year, I've gone through this gauntlet, you know, gauntlet of horrible mental and emotional trauma, just on myself. And going to this school to learn HVAC and get hired by somebody and make it make money, you know. Because I'm not passionate about any job. I'm passionate about providing for a family. That's my passion in life. Is making money so that my family can live and live happily. Um, so that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do. This was... <laughs> I think about what I said and where we are now. That was a journey. That was a crazy, crazy adventure. It was it was raw. Just my brain firing off everything, you know, everything at once. So there you go. I'm I might upload this. I'll send this to the people I trust. But I, I might upload this because that would be pretty cool, and then send the link to the people I trust. Who knows? Who fu who knows? Um, yeah, cool. All right, uh, I'm at work. I gotta sign off. But this was the ramblings of a 19-year-old working a factory job. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's what it'll be, okay.